G'day, welcome to Partaker's Think Spot at the start of a new week as I reflect upon the life of Jesus as given to us through the Gospels. I see that in his interaction with people, he exhibits his loveliness. An example of this is found in Matthew chapter 20, verse 29 to 34. As Jesus and his disciples were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed him. Two blind men were sitting by the roadside, and when they heard that Jesus was going by, they shouted, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. The crowd rebuked them and told them to be quiet, but they shouted all the louder, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus stopped and called them. What do you want me to do for you? he asked. Lord, they answered, we want our sight. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately they received their sight and followed him. See how Jesus exhibited his loveliness to those two men through an act of compassion and mercy. Jesus gave those two men great joy in receiving their sight and enabled them to overcome the rejection by the crowd. Those two men could testify that Jesus is altogether lovely and lovely altogether. Jesus is beyond compare for the things he has done and the things that he will do. Jesus Christ is altogether lovely in regard to his divinity, humanity, birth, life, ministry, death, resurrection, ascension, exaltation, glorification, grace, protection, tenderness, power, wisdom, judgment, majesty, redemption and pardon. Jesus' loveliness means I can have his incomparable inner joy when I feel defeated, dejected, discouraged. Jesus oozes loveliness. And as you go into this week, remember that when you are feeling defeated, dejected or discouraged, that Jesus' joy is inside you. Joy is not necessarily loud and obtrusive, but also quiet and peaceful. Allow that joy of Jesus to carry you through, let his loveliness embrace you and allow him control over your circumstances. A prayer to help you into this week. Father, we thank you for sending Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, that you are altogether lovely and lovely altogether. We thank you that you are with us when everybody else seemingly rejects, despises, defeats or discourages us. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partakers Think Spot. See you again real soon.